Javier Espinoza was one of the fortunate ones. The Spanish journalist had been captured and held hostage by the Islamic State for more than six months. And now, nearly a year after his release, Espinoza has revealed horrific details about his experience in captivity. Writing for the British Sunday Times, the veteran correspondent describes the physical and psychological torment inflicted by the militants, among them the notorious Jihadi John, who allegedly taunted him by holding a sword against his neck, before going on to describe the unimaginably painful process in gruesome detail. He also threatened his colleague, photographer Ricardo Villanova, aiming a rifle at his head. It was just this sort of theater John loved, says Espinoza. Mock executions were common, and according to some accounts, the prisoners were given false hopes for freedom. He was say to me, uh, say to them, we don't kill you. You are only uh, our racist. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, dangerous for you. But at the end, you show sure? and uh, I was sure. Espinoza says he was one of 23 hostages held by the group, including American aid worker Peter Kasig, who was killed in November. Both Spanish journalists, Espinoza and Villanova, were freed in March last year, two of the few Western journalists who lived to tell their tale.